Welcome back to the channel, my freedom loving 2A support and patriots. Back with another video for you today on the uh, Vetter Pocket Locker Holster. Uh, if you guys remember, I did a, a full review on this holster um, uh, probably close to a year ago. And it's their old style of uh, Vetter, you know, pocket holsters. And uh, since they have uh, made some changes to it, so I wanted to do a video on the changes they've made. Um, one I wasn't crazy about at first, one I really loved, and uh, now it turns out I actually like both. So, uh, right now, uh, before we get too far into this, they are running a uh, Black Friday sale for the entire month of November. Uh, if you use co coupon code BF20 at checkout, it will save you 20% off your entire order on everything on their website. So, a really good deal on that going through the end of the month. Um, down in the description box, I do have an affiliate link for Vetter for you guys to check out. It does support help support the channel if you guys are interested. And now with saying that, um, I've never received anything from Vetter. Um, everything I've ever bought and uh, had on the channel from them, I've purchased at full price with my own money. And uh, the affiliate link is just a recent uh, thing that I started doing with them. And that will be on... Uh, in the description box on every video going uh, forward henceforth. So on the old holster here, this is a look at it. It's my Walther PPSM2. You can get a good look at it here. Um, it does have the curve, which I am a fan of. Helps hug your leg a little better. Uh, the thumb tab, you know, where if you draw, hit the other holster there. If you draw the pistol, and you don't draw it correctly and hook it onto your pants, you can use that thumb tab to shoot off the holster. And then um, the rear sights here, as you can see, are exposed. So that was giving me problems as far as uh, causing wear on my pants. And uh, it did eventually rip a hole in one of my pairs of pants. And now with that said, that was after wearing it, you know, in those pants for over a year and those being my work pants. So a couple changes that they made that I really like with the uh, pocket locker holster here. As you look at it there, you don't see the rear sights. The rear sights are completely covered up now. So they brought that Kydex up quite a bit further. As you can see that. And um, I'm really liking that change they made there. So it shouldn't give me any kind of unusual wear in the pants from the sights there. And also... Um, you know, a potential downside of that is that could those sights could snag on something inside your pants when you're drawing, and uh, that's not possible anymore with this new one. Um, this is for the uh, Sig P365. Retention is great, as you can see, as it was with the Walther as well. Uh, this gun has been cleared, but it does have a 12 round mag in it, so you can see there the. Uh, Retention is great on it. Uh, one of the other changes they made is for the thumb tab. So you see that thumb tab on the purple one? That's how they used to have it. And I guess they're getting quite a few complaints from people about that digging into their leg. So I wear loose fitting pants, so it's never really a big deal for me. But if you're someone who pocket carries and say jeans or tighter fitting pants, I'm sure that would be very uncomfortable. Like I said, it wasn't an issue for me, so I can totally see why they switched over to that thumb tab being straight up and down now. And so, say if you draw, you know, and the holster's still there, like I said, this is a holster you really want to practice with. You can still shoot it off. Um, it's a little bit less of an area, you know, to hit. But when you're drawing, you know, your thumb's right there anyway, so... Shouldn't be too much of an issue there, and I wasn't sure how I was going to like that when I first opened it and saw it, and um, after carrying it for a little bit, now I'm actually a big fan of that change they made there as well. As far as fit and finish go on these holsters, um, it is it is amazing as always. All their holsters, are, every one I've ever ordered from them has been so well done. Um, I think this is my sixth holster I've ordered from them. In the past, um, just nice clean lines all the way through. Nice, everything's just buffed and smoothed out so well. 
and uh, they just do an excellent job on those and that's always been the uh, my same experience with all their holsters um, this is just part of part of the Vetter holster collection that I have but uh, they always do an excellent job on there and uh, their customer service is top notch as well as I found um, in the several times I've contacted them so I'll go upstairs and I'll kind of keep rambling here and kind of show you how it draws and uh, what that looks like. So the pattern I picked for this holster uh, is going to be the Hex Cam Adriondac, if I'm saying that right. Um, you can, of course, get basic black holsters. Um, and this holster's base price is $42.99. And then, uh, you know, they have, a, Vetter has a ton of color upgrades you can choose. Um, if you guys are wanting to add the curve, which I highly suggest, um, as it helps conceal a little better in your pants, um, it's $3. Uh, the thumb tab is an additional $3 as well, or you can do both of those upgrades for $5, which would bring you to $47.99. As far as I'm concerned, uh, this is my favorite holster I've ever owned, favorite style of holster and I've tried other pocket holsters, uh, like some soft ones, you know, that with the sticky grip on the outside. They haven't worked out as well. I don't like them. They print a lot more um, from what I've found. So these better pocket holsters are awesome. Uh, pocket locker. When using this holster, I highly recommend uh, taking it to the store with you if you guys are uh, going to be purchasing some new pants. Um, you want to take those pants into the dressing room and definitely try this holster out in those pants and make sure it's going to fit and that you'll be able to get a uh, clean draw using this holster in those pants. This is also a holster that I highly recommend you never reholster with it inside your pocket still. Um, always go ahead and pull that holster out all of the way before you holster your gun and then uh, throw it in your pants as one piece. Like I said, they're running the Black Friday sale through the end of the month, BF20. Uh, use that code at checkout. Uh, and if you guys ever do considering, uh, consider picking up a better holster, uh, please consider using my link as it does uh, help benefit the channel. And um, all the money I make from those affiliate links does go straight back into the channel and uh, picking up uh, products to review and uh, ammunition, of course, as that is rather expensive right now, as you all know. So that's all I got for this one, you guys. I appreciate you as always. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. And uh, thanks for watching as always, you guys. God bless.